Hey Richard Huntley here back with a brand new video today and we've got quite an interesting topic today because um, it's how the Japanese can keep slim so lots of the women have been saying how does the Japanese women keep so slim it's quite um, an interesting topic to talk about and I actually know this through experience when I travel to Japan I do my martial art training over there but also I visit friends too and my family friends so um, you know I can talk about this in first experience and uh, I hope this is going to benefit you well. If you want to grab my fat loss plan, it's a seven day free one. You can click on the link below and it's called the free um, gift for you link below. It's called the seven day fat loss formula and you can go and grab it for free. Right guys, here's why their diet is very good. I think last time I checked it's something like 3% is obesity that on their obesity rate level compared to say the UK here. I think we're in the early 20s, like 23 or something like that, cl closing in the 20s. And then in the States, I think they're towards the 30s. So they, they're doing something right and obviously the fast food's getting a little bit more over there so the weight is increasing um, but overall the general traditional Japanese diet we'll speak a little bit about because maybe you can benefit from it and bring it into your life little bits that you want so first up the first tip that I notice when I go over there is lots of the ladies and gents they eat in bowls and so these are small bowls and so what this equals is a portion control they know that, that their studies have actually shown the bigger plates we have the more food that we pile up like when you're going to these buffets and you you get big plates you're going to keep loading them up okay so what they do is they just have a simple small bowl and then they just load it up and it just tells the brain once we finish the bowl I'm done so it's a very good little tip to take home right there next up they love their fish to keep their bodies and brain sharp and healthy we all know omega 3s are very important for us or well, they like to load up on their fish over there and there's so many varieties of lovely oily fish that you can have obviously the famous sushi they have that but it's a little bit more expensive so typically they're not going to eat that all the time but there's so many variations of fish that they do like to have in their diet next up what I noticed because I'm not just going to talk about their diet talk about their whole lifestyle they walk and they cycle a lot you know it's very very popular they get the the subway or the underground whatever you want to call it and the trains but they'll be walking they'll be standing there's lots of movement they do through the day they don't just get in a car from their home all the time and just drive to work I've noticed especially in the um, more built-up areas they're very active and even outside um, when, when you go outside of the cities they have uh, lots of people outside gardening and walking around with nature and things in the park so it's lovely to see and uh, that's a really important tip as well you've got to get outside with nature and really clear the mind if you had a bit of a busy and hectic day go for a little walk, a little 10 minute walk. I made a video recently about how walking can help improve your weight loss, but really it's for your mind stimulation as well. We've got to keep our bodies and our mind all as one connection and um, keep them all sharp and focused, but most of all clear and keep your body happy as well. Okay, last but not least, they don't go crazy on desserts because when I've had a little bit of food over there, I, I remember looking at their dessert menu, even though I'm not very good, I can't really read Japanese, but my friends were explaining and they don't have massive desserts so over in the UK here and I'm sure more in the Western world the dessert sizes are quite big you can have over there in Japan it's not they have more of a, a smaller size that they go by um, literally it's just in the palm of your hand a lot of time but it just gives to them that little kick maybe they just want a little something sweet afterwards they don't even always have a dessert I've been out with friends and they just have a little main and then they go off that can be good because obviously you're reducing your sugar intake too and uh, we all know that what sugar's done to, what what sugar can do to you and um, we've been shown in the past what sugar does to your body so there you go guys four really good tips there even if you take home one like eating smaller portions start eating in bowls that can help or walk a cycle more um, get fish into your lifestyle with omega 3s more then you know success leaves clues and they have been a successful nation of keeping fit and healthy and they literally they're nearly like the land of the immortals um, I remember reading an article saying that it's, it's quite typical that they live way into their 90s and passed into the you know a whole century 100 years old which is amazing that's what I want to do but most of all I want to keep healthy doing it I don't want to be a 100 year old that can barely move and you know I'm not very mobile and I want to be sharp in the brain too so I hope you've enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already share this video with your family and friends it's a different topic to talk about and uh, can't wait to see you all in the next video have an amazing day and take care for now